my second kilo leg workout today. And then we're heading to Toronto, so that's the reason why I'm training so early. I will show you guys my meal prep for Toronto, of course. I didn't have to meal prep too much because like I mentioned before, Flex Meals will be covering most of my meals, thank God. And I am so excited just for everything in general and then it's National Donut Day tomorrow, so <sighs> you guys, oh my God, you guys are gonna die when you see the donuts that I ordered, literally. Not a part of my plan, of course. Doing this, but making an exception <laughs> and making it fit. All right, guys, so obviously, I am home from the gym, just getting ready to head to the airport and just packing. And just packing the last few things that I need. I have some peanut butter here. Also bringing some ketchup, of course. And I am bringing my six pack, uh, my six pack gel bag and then another ice pack just because they won't let you bring them on the plane. So I'll just take them in my suitcase so when I'm over there and I have to go to the expo, I have something to keep my six pack back with um, for today the flight is only like three hours long and I'll get to it's only one flight so it's not a big deal if my food's not gonna be refrigerated for that time period so I'm not too worried about it um, I didn't freeze any meals I only brought my meals for today because like I said Lex Meals is gonna be providing me with all my meals while I'm there so I'm just bringing my protein waffles and then all my food for today obviously some peanut butter and ketchup just because I only have steak quinoa chicken and sweet potatoes and veggies from flex meals so I'll be completing my fats with this and then my protein and other fats with the protein waffle and then I also have some oats as well so just a few things but I'm not bringing too much as I usually do obviously I like to fly very comfortably <laughs> that's why you see me looking like this but when I'm flying that's all I care about pretty much is just comfort so um yeah I'm gonna put this all in my suitcase which is right here and then I will show you guys what I prep for today for food and I'm just still trying to figure out if I want to eat here or if I want to eat at the airport I'm pretty hungry right now so I might just crack and eat right now it's only like 7 30 so I don't want to eat my first meal so early especially because I know we might be up till late-ish hopefully not because I definitely don't want to be up late because I know tomorrow setup day is always a long early ass day so hopefully we can make it to bed pretty early but I guess we can only wait and see what happens with time <laughs> I'm just gonna finish up putting everything together right now and then I will check in with you guys probably at the airport and I don't know what to do with my food I really want to bring my donut pillow but I won't So my glasses have a really left back layer to the point where I almost like contemplated putting my contacts in, but you guys are just gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> so sorry about that. But um, I'll just show you guys quickly what I have prepped for today. So I have my six days worth of waffles. There's 12 waffles in here. What is up? You guys don't know how hard it was not to eat them while I was making them. And I had to make them with milk, chocolate, select protein. I usually use snickerdoodle, but I ran out. I know, what the hell, right? And I also ran out of aminos, so it's been super hard not having my aminos in between meals how I usually do like I have like six or eight scoops a day so it's pretty big of a sacrifice for me to not be having my aminos but I have no other choice I have no aminos so and another thing I'm not bringing with me is um I'm not gonna bring my pancake syrup so I am gonna eat here before I leave so I can have one last uh, pancake syrup with some kamut puffs and cashew milk so that way I don't have to pack liquids to the airport. Um, but here I have potatoes, chicken, some lettuce, and then more potatoes, more chicken, and more lettuce. And then I have some chicken and lettuce and two things of fat free cheese that I'll be having with two tortillas sometime today. And then I also, where's my dry stuff? Oh, it's already in here. Um, I have my tortillas. You guys didn't think that I would leave without them, did ya? Um, and then I have some, these protein bars, so I'm, I'll be trying them for the first time today. I got them last week sometime, and I still haven't tried them yet, so I'll be finally trying them today. And then um, I have some oats for the next six days, some chicha puffs for today, and then that's about it. Oh, some nuts for today. Fabric cheese, chicken, lettuce, and 
and the rest will be provided by Flex Meals. Thank God. I'm so excited to try their steak. I've been craving steak forever, but I'm too lazy to cook it, so the fact that someone else did it for me is bomb. Also, I'm also taking some ketchup in this container because as you guys know, they won't let you take liquids over 150 ml on the plane. So I'm hoping this is less than 150. If not, they'll just take my container, which is not a big deal, but the effort is there. So that's basically it. I'm gonna eat my waffle right now. So freaking hungry. <laughs> Don't know how I thought I was gonna make it until like 9.30. It's only 7.52 right now, that's not happening. So I'm gonna eat and then I will see you guys at the airport. I finally made it to my gate. It's looking like a pretty full flight. I got my Starbucks. Didn't get this cream mocha though because I didn't have it here. And I asked them if they would make it for me, but they're like, no, we don't have it. But really, I know they're just being lazy and don't want to make it. Um, the flight is supposed to be leaving in about 30 minutes. We're supposed to be boarding right now, but we aren't. I'm not sure what's going on, but it's fine. I'm really not in a rush to get there at all because today we don't have much plan, but tomorrow we do have to set up a booth and do all of that. So. Today we'll probably just hang out, maybe do like some sightseeing in Toronto, I don't know, we'll see how it goes, but as of right now I'm just going to wait until I get called to go up and then go to the plane and yeah, I have a lot of editing to do on the plane so that's cool because it's a three hour long flight so it gives me something to do and then I also got a new book, it's uh, by Michael Hyatt and it's called Living Forward so I'm pretty excited to check it out, I heard, I've heard really good things about it so for that and I will most likely check in with you guys when I'm in Toronto so see you then. Alright guys so we officially made it to Toronto. Now I get to wait for Miss Ryan. You guys might have seen her before. She was at the Arnold. She was in all of my Arnold vlogs. I'm super excited for her to be at the booth again because she's such a blast. Such a nice girl. Has so much energy. So she's coming from New Jersey, I believe. And she's supposed to be here at 4.30. So hopefully soon enough and I don't have to wait too long because um, the cab to the condo will probably be a good 30 minutes. So I really just want to kind of get settled and put everything away, all my food. I have a bite to eat. I did get a bite to eat on the plane. Um, I had my potato and chicken meal and it was pretty uncomfortable because I was like in the middle seat. I had to get up and like grab my six pack bag and I felt really bad for the people sitting around me but it's whatever. You get used to it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go grab my suitcase and then probably just wait for Ryan and then head to the Airbnb and hopefully my meals have arrived. That's another thing that's on my mind. I don't want them to go bad or get sent back to pure later because I won't be able to pick them up tonight so hopefully they're at the house and everything will just run smoothly. So it's 5 p.m. I'm still at the airport. I have no idea where Ryan is. Her phone isn't even on because she hasn't received my text so I'm gonna try and find her because I think she's at a different terminal than me. I uh, found out that my meals tried to get delivered and they weren't able to get delivered so now I have to go pick them up tonight and hopefully I make it or else they're gonna go bad and I don't have any food prep with me so so far, things are going kind of rocky, but it's okay. I'm just trying to keep it cool. Just gonna go on an adventure right now, try to find Ryan, see where she is. I have no idea. I'm not even like that familiar with this airport. It's pretty huge. I'll show you guys. That's like that's probably only like a quarter of it. So um, basically, what's happening right now? I'm getting pretty hungry, but just gonna look at the positives and the fact that I'm here in Toronto and that I made it. I guess. <laughs> At least my meals and my suitcase made it, unlike passengers, LA when I didn't get my suitcase. So, something good. So, I'm texting Ping right now and I'm telling him how frustrated I'm getting and listen to what he has to say. Honestly, just, just think of it as like a game. Anytime <laughs> I get pissed at something, I kind of think about it as a game. What do I need at this point to level up to the next level? Maybe <laughs> get a bonus round, which may include donuts. <laughs> donuts. Ooh, how <laughs> Oh my god. By the way, I got my um, donuts pre-ordered from a place here in Toronto that won a show. They want the donut showdown on um, the Food Network, so I pre-ordered some donuts for the whole team. And I actually had their donuts after I won nationals last year, so I'm super excited to have them again. They have a special list because it's uh, National Donut Day tomorrow, so I'm pretty excited for that. Obviously, it's pre-scheduled in my fitness pal, so um, yeah, definitely can't wait. I guess that'll be my bonus. Um, for everything that's happening right now. <laughs> we have? Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. 
Now we're going. It's that time. It's time for you to meet Miss Ryan. <laughs> How you feeling? It's your first time in Toronto. So, what do you think so far? I like it so far. People are semi nice. Except for that one lady at the airport. <laughs> yeah, she was not having a good day. But I don't blame her because she was wearing a long sleeve and it's freaking hot. It's like plus 23 right now. We're both wearing pretty like warm pants. clothing. <laughs> yeah, like I'm wearing like wool <laughs> leggings. So I'm. Getting, getting kind of sweaty. <laughs> just want to get to the condo and just, you know, breathe. Chill out. Yeah, chill out, get my food, and then we're going to go get her food. And then I don't know what else we're going to do. So, probably check in with you guys later. Yep. This is Miss Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> see ya. And yeah, we'll see you later. Zero seven. Oh shit, I don't think we're in the right building. Are we We're at 909, not our 909. Listen to You're this. You're definitely at the wrong building. I think it's the other elevator. Like, <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh my so we're going back with all our freaking <laughs> baggage. Oh my god. I'm like sweating and I don't usually sweat. This is how bad it is. My freaking. Oh. I just want to eat from here. Views from the six. Ha! Huh? Ping, 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 is that you? Hi. So obviously changed because it's freaking hot here in Toronto. It was not expected, but I came prepared. And finally get to try the protein bars. I'm gonna put it in the microwave because that's what my best friend did, my roomie. So we'll see how I like it. It's a chocolate fudge. I'm definitely craving something sweet, so I'm pretty excited. And like I said, the macros are 3.5 fat, 23 carb, and 15 protein. So let's give it a go, guys. Show them. Show them who's the favorite. I'm just kidding. <laughs> like, that is. shot is classic. Literally, I love that picture. Where's, where are you looking? What are you looking at? She doesn't need no it. No one even knows. At the donuts. I mean, I gotta flip So I'm trying both of them. Only had like a quarter of this one and then I'm gonna have the rest of this one. And this one I like a lot better than the chocolate one. It's just a lot sweeter and I like sweet. She's saying with us? We're gonna leave you guys. We're gonna grab a different spot. Really? Oh my god, it's gonna be a party. Did you hear that? Just to let you know, you cannot you cannot trust balance to your Airbnb. Okay, the last review we got was probably the reason why we got cancelled on like four times, okay? Yeah. So well, there's no carpet. I'm also the team dad. Whoopsie. I'm also dieting, so I have to be really careful. But did you hear that? Bella even wants to stay here in this condo with me and Ryan. So it's gonna be a girls' party. <laughs> But anyways, the point of this actual clip was to review this bar. It was good. I really liked it, but my favorite flavor would have to be the chocolate, white chocolate coconut. So if you guys, if you guys want to try them, then I definitely recommend this guy. He just wants to be in my vlog. He just wants to take the spotlight off of me and make it all about him and his new haircut. Yum. We're about to pick up my food. It's not going to go bad, guys. We is happy. <laughs> All right, so food has been put away. I will show you guys what I got later. But right now, the main and most important thing is that we feed this girl here because she's gonna drop that on me, <laughs> and I ain't having that. Because if that happens, I'm running. <laughs> See ya. I don't have those kind of reviving skills. So, guys, it's so beautiful. Let's just appreciate how beautiful this area is. It's like downtown Toronto, kind of. It's like the outer downtown. So it's where you want to be. That's basically what's happening right now. We're just trying to find somewhere for Brian to eat. There's a lot of places here. So I'm really... Not, I'm not upset to be honest. <laughs> I'm, I'd be really lying. Upset. I'd be lying. I'm not even hungry right now. So it's... Just it's, me. Yeah. You die. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So she should be upset because she's the one that's hungry. But there's a lot of um, really good looking restaurants here. So... She's gonna have a hard time figuring out where she's gonna eat, and I feel kind of bad. Cause Pat Pastor Burrito. Pat Pastor Burrito. Like, <laughs> that is like need I going. say more? So um, we're probably gonna end up there. Definitely gonna end up there. Uh, and then I will show you guys what she gets. She gets to do the food pour, and I get to do the watching. Yes, and you guys get to watch too. So let's go.
watching my tortilla closely. I'm trying to broil it and have it how I usually do back home, but I don't have the I can't believe it's not butter spray here, so I don't know how it's gonna turn out. But I'm hoping it turns out because I have a tablespoon of peanut butter to eat still, so I definitely want to put it. Oh yeah, I do have to. I was like, did I eat it already? But I haven't. I haven't. Um, so I have that with the tortilla left, and then I had uh, like the little cheese quesadilla, enchilada, whatever you want to call it, and chicken, lettuce, more cheese on it, and that's basically it for the day. Tomorrow we have set up, we're shooting, so I'll get footage of that. Um, so tomorrow I have a workout early in the morning and that's about it for training this week, which I'm excited about because I don't have to train during the expo time, which is amazing because they are exhausting. I don't have to say anything else, just exhausting. So that's gonna be it for this video, guys. I will definitely be checking in tomorrow because it's National Donut Day. We got some mad donut food porn coming your way, so stay tuned for that. And you know how it goes, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do that. And if you have any comments for me, if you like the video, make sure you like it. And leave your comments down below. Have a good night.